positive light and, and going out and playing the way you did against a, a really talented team tonight? Um, he's just been a leader that he always is. Um, really stayed in one little move, um, calm, really don't get frustrated. Well, at least he don't show it, but we just keep us positive about all teams. You guys sort of see how he's not only rallied the team, but the fans. I'm sorry. Yeah, we've noticed that, like, you know, today's yeah. end, me being sold out, um, he brings he bring a lot of fans. Do you feel like when, and, and Wes was talking about this a little bit, when something went wrong here, something went wrong there, that you guys panicked at all? I mean, were you, were you just not able to deal with things going wrong? I feel uh, when we had penalties, uh, it pushed us back, and we have a big play that won't be enough for the first down. But just the penalties pushed us back to get us in a situation where we forced to get the first down from 20 yards. Did you get the sense that their defense was, was gaining confidence and, and momentum, you know, as things started to kind of tick off for you guys? Yeah, as the game went on, their defense gained confidence. Um, you can see they came out flat. Um, we came out rolling, but their defense gained confidence as the game went on. Thanks. Generally, not just penalties, but like your uh, personal foul, these are mental mistakes. How did how did what North Carolina was doing lead to that kind of thing? Um, just personally, I was frustrated um, with all the uh, hundreds and anything going on holding us back. It was, was really a selfish move by myself, but um, we were fix it. And I get, I get control of myself. Have you ever seen? Have you ever been in a game like this where there are so many just little mistakes compounded by big mistakes and ball rolling? Um, no, nah, this is really the first game where penalties beat us. This game, we just got to correct it next week. And it's a lot of football left to play. Yes. Thank you.